Yo! Oh my god, it's sick. I was not expecting that. What is up guys? Today we're gonna to be playing some NHL Sensorina and hopefully winning the Stanley Cup. So let's just jump straight into it. Alright, here we are in the NHL Sensorina dressing room. I am currently repping my favorite team, the Montreal Canadiens, but you can also play through the NHL playoffs with whatever team you want. And if the team that you picked did not make the playoffs, you just replace whatever wild card or a wild card team in your conference. So in this case, I'm replacing the Washington Capitals. So I've played all the way through to the finals. I've played all the way up to game five. So I'm currently up 3-2 against the Oilers in the finals. So if we win this game, I will win the series in six. And I will win the Stanley Cup. Now, I don't know if you get to like lift the Stanley Cup or anything, but I do know that you get the Stanley Cup in your dressing room. It's gonna be like around there, which will be really awesome. So we will go into the game here and uh, hopefully win the Stanley Cup. Here we go. All right, so the first drill that we're going to be doing in the finals is the double three on two. So we've got to stand and pass the colored puck to the player with the corresponding stick color. So we got to pay attention to a lot of different things here. Make sure it passes the right guy. So just in case you don't know what sensory is, it traps your stick with the controller that is on your stick. And it is pretty, uh, pretty responsive. It's usually pretty good. Sometimes the calibration can get a little messed up and you have to like recalibrate quite often. But I mean, you can see here, I'm stick handling pretty well. You can't really go as fast as you really want to. That's not, it's definitely not perfect but it is pretty good for a VR game. So we will go into the double three on two. We do six drills. We need to have an accuracy of 35% or above and all the drills combined to uh, to win the game in the Stanley Cup. So we have a yellow puck and we'll pass it to the open yellow guy. Okay, that bounced off my stick a little funky, so we do not complete that pass. That pass was off. The, the drills do get harder as you progress in the playoffs. We got pink puck here, he passed to the pink guy. That pass was in my feet. That one as well. We get a pink puck, split pass to the pink guy. Very nice, another pink puck. Go pass to that guy over there. Okay, I missed that one. I think my wall key. Got a blue puck. Go pass back to the guy who passed it to me. Black one, I think that means I put it on net. I missed the, the shooting. One thing that is not great about this game is the shooting. It's definitely off. The shooting does not feel right. The accuracy is definitely a little off. But that drill is over and we get 50% efficiency, which is great because we need an, an average of 35. So that is a good start. This one is, like, I don't know, it's like really weird. The final lane. You just gotta time it right, pass either around the net or between the nets to get to that guy. And he's moving around as well. This one, I don't really like this one. I'm gonna be completely honest. That's why. Um, so this one might bring our percent down a little bit because I'm not great at it. But we will try to get some successful passes. That was almost one. Those are slightly off. Yeah, just completely missed the puck there. That, see, that's what I mean by it's not 100% perfect all the time. And calibration can get slightly off. But for the most part, it's pretty good. Now, I swear, I'm not that bad at hockey most of the time. It is just the game, I promise. Okay. Cali see, this is what I mean by the calibration sometimes. There we go. That's one, that's one completed pass. Almost two. So, that does not help our efficiency. But there, as you can see, the calibration did get a little messed up. But now we have a breakout drill. As we are acting as the forward. Uh, work in the D zone to pre-scan and identify time, space, and available options to hand man up. All right, seems pretty straightforward. So we just gotta break the puck down the zone. So, we'll get a pass here. And we gotta find the open man. Okay, do not mean to put it that high. But we'll have another chance here. Just like that guy. There we go. Successful pass. And then we'll 
get another one from here. Look for the open guy, that guy, and there we go. Another successful pass. So this is mostly used as a training tool. I know a lot of professional players use this game to actually train. And I actually see quite a bit of a difference here after playing this game for a while. My like hockey sense is actually getting quite a bit better. And like my ability to scan the ice. Alright, that was uh they mean to tap at that part. But uh yeah, I think this is actually a once you get the calibration down and you get kind of used to it, this actually can be used as a, like a training tool if you can't get onto the ice. And there we go, we get an efficiency of 71, so great. Uh, that was definitely good for uh, our percentage there. And now we need to transition to offense, so pre-scan to identify available options to transition, to transition the puck up the ice. So here we go. This is our third to last drill, I think. So looks like we're playing as a defenseman here. We don't usually get to see in this game. Now we just gotta find the open guy. So in that case, it was that guy. We got the point. Get the, get the puck here. Whoa, he came really fast. I kind of just panicked and threw it out, which is not the good thing to do. That's what this game is training not to do. To make the nice, smart play. So I. Okay. That was completely my fault. I tried to pull it back and I pulled it back too far. That guy seems to be open. That guy was more open, see? You gotta really scan the ice to find the uh, the best available pass. So here, that guy, perfect saucer pass. Perfect saucer pass. Straight to his tape. This guy wide open, that one was easy. We got six seconds left. This might be our last one. See, you gotta act fast too. Fast and smart. We get one more chance. Pass up to him. And there we go, we hit the point. So what was our percentage here? 50% efficiency, not bad. I think we're definitely over 35 so far. So we'll go into the next drill. And we got two on one. Read and react to the pressure from the opposition while creating a scoring chance in the ozone. This one is, I'm actually pretty good at this one. This one's fairly easy uh but yeah hopefully we can uh go in there do our thing get a high efficiency and so far i think we're good to win the stanley cup which i haven't really seen any videos of winning the stanley cup in this game so i'm looking forward to seeing what that's like nice pass in there and 100 efficiency so far but i don't know stay that one there we go as i say that i missed the pass here, take the shot, see so he was covering that guy so the pass wasn't available, so I take the shot, here we go, it comes to me, so I pass it off to the open guy, that one missed, but we're fine, we have scored, or made the right play quite a few times, so our percentage gets up, he's covering that guy, so I take the shot, and I miss, and it was also weak, so like I was saying before, the passing, the shooting definitely isn't perfect. Pass that off to him, beautiful pass. We have seven seconds left. This one, maybe he passed to that. No, okay, that was not the right play. I think the right play was to shoot. But like, you're so, on so much of tough angles. It's so hard to actually score from there and get the point. But, drill is over, we get 36% efficiency. Another really cool thing about this game is you can do a 3D replay. So that's me right there, that is what I was doing. And you can see, you know, just what you did. And it has the, the like perfect path that you could take, and you can see what you did, and see what you can you can work on, see what you're doing well. So this is actually a really good training tool. You can also see the heat map of like all your shots where they went. And just as I was saying, the, the shooting was a little off. We get accuracy shooting as our last drill. This one can really bring down our efficiency, but we will try to snipe this man with the So, we just gotta... I'm gonna try to go for that middle one at first. If it doesn't work out, I'll go for probably the left one. The pucks do... Okay, that one was like way in the crap. The pucks do take a while to respond, which I don't love. Okay, but we'll try to go for the left one now. Because we have missed... Okay, that was... 
extremely bad shot. So I'm trying to go for that one. Yeah, I gotta raise it. But every time I try to raise it, that happens. So there we go. We got one. I'll go for one of like the coolers. There we go. Okay. That's two in a row. Three in a row? No, not quite. We're not that good. How much time do I have left? I have eight seconds. Just gotta snipe it in a net right in front of me. On like high slot. Dot. That one doesn't go in. So we get a percentage of 13%, but I believe we had enough percentage. There we go. Oh my goodness. No way. Yo, this is sick. I gotta detach my my controller from the stick mount real quick. And uh, I gotta celebrate with the Stanley Cup. Um, here we go. I wasn't expecting all this. This is awesome. So I'll put this down. I will grab my other controller over here. And I think we actually get to lift it. No, okay. I thought we were able to pick it up. But no, and I accidentally exited out of the menu. Not sure how I did that. But, we won the Stanley Cup. There we go. You are the 2024 Stanley Cup champion. Congratulations. And there is the Stanley Cup. That is incredible. Let me just uh, go here real quick and switch to play with the controller so I can move around. And you can also play with those controllers. You don't need the stick mount. But let's walk over here to the Stanley Cup. This, yo, it actually has engravings on it. That is sick. I was not expecting that. It actually has all the individual engravings on it. That is actually so cool. See, 1903 Montreal. That is so cool. I unfortunately, could not pick it up. Once I saw it actually had individual hands, I thought I was going to be able to like lift it over my head. But that is still awesome. The Stanley Cup in VR. I'm a Stanley Cup champion. That's something you don't get to say every day. But there it is. The Stanley Cup in VR. That is awesome. Much more detailed than I thought. When I saw pictures of this online, I thought it was just like all blank without the engravings. But you can see the Dominion Hockey Championship Cup. Just fun fact, the actual name of the Stanley Cup. But that is, uh, that's the Stanley Cup in uh, virtual reality, NHL Sensory, that's sick. All right, and there you have it, the Stanley Cup in NHL Sensory Night and in VR. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. That'll do it for this one, and I'll see you guys next time.